Hi folks, it's Jody with Spectrum Wisdom Tarot. Here to do mid-April readings for all the zodiac signs. Uh, every mid-month I do them by the elements. So this reading is going to be for the element of fire. Which is going to be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So we'll start off with Sagittarius. See what's going on with you in mid-April 2022. Hmm, got a little bit of worryment here. The Nine of Swords could be sleepless nights, some anxiety, thinking about something over and over again and not getting any resolution or solution to it. And remember, Sag, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, loveship, career, family, however it applies. Hmm. Could be dealing with the Leo. You have the Strength card. And that's a card about inner strength, having the courage and the guts to persevere through anything. Even a little anxiety, maybe. Besides, remember, worry is wasted energy. Always seem positive. Positive brings positive to you. Negative will bring negative to you. It could be around negative people. You have the five of wands, which is petty arguments, gossip, secrets, lies, maybe even a little jealousy in there. And this is like rising above it. You might have a little bit of controversy that you know that something's going to be a heated argument that no one sees eye to eye on something. And this is about having the guts to maybe find some resolution or a happy medium. Hmm. It could be with an Earth-like person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who's just Earth-like. They're grounded, they're practical, they're methodical, they're approachable. They're very scheduled. They like things in a certain order. They don't like surprises. They like things in order. But they're realists. You know, they're not going to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge or... 40 acres. And this is somebody, when I say approachable, you know, that you're not going to be met with, you know, any type of aggression or something like that. You know, they are, I want to say they're very fair. Like, they'll heal you out, Sag. I don't feel like this is somebody, you know, who's a part of the group. You know, that, that's just, you gotta go through, sometimes, the trees to see the forest, so to speak. But there is success here. You have the three of wands, and that's, your ship's coming in. Taking that one course of action that's not like the other two, and getting results, positive results out of it. Bottom of the deck, hmm. You get the Seven of Pentacles, that's the investment card. And that's when you give something your all. You give something your 100. And when you step back from it, you, you know, you ponder. Am I getting out of this what I put into it? Is it worth doing? And would you do it again? So, it looks like you have to... Go through some naysayers, and they're everywhere, Sag. Because not everyone's going to see, you know, things from your point of view. And I feel with the strength card that you can rise above that. You know, like I said, positive brings positive to you. Negative will bring negative to you too, too Sag. But you got the guts to persevere through this. And whether this is somebody above the pettiness, it could even be you, Sag, you know, maybe you're on the cusp of Capricorn, which is another sign, um, to stay calm and cool in the face of adversity and get your point across. Whether you 
you know, convince other people to see things from your point of view. What's rising above that? You know, if this is a work situation, you know what I mean? This could be co-workers. Everyone's got an idea, you know, how to do it their way. And this could be like a supervisor or a manager and going above the pettiness and going directly to this person would be a wise investment. Whether it's that, if it's anything about, you know, friendships or partnerships, anything like that, you know, it's rising above the pettiness. You know, hearing them out, them, you, you, them, and staying grounded and methodical about it. Because either way, Sag, you get success at the end. And then something there is worth investing in. <laughs> Couldn't help but uh, notice. Maybe even celebrating. So, no worries, Sag. You got this. All right. Now, let's move on to Leo. What's going on for the Lion Hearts in mid month of April? Leo energy for mid April 2022. What's going on with Leo? The lions. Whoops. You don't want to stay on the table. <laughs> That's what's going on. Hold on. And if this is face up, you get the six of uh, swords in the reverse. In the upright, this would be leaving a situation behind, potentially going to a better one, going to Kama Waters. But you're not leaving, Leo. Why do I want to say abandon ship? You're not abandoning your ship. In the upright, that could be mentally checking out of a situation. And mentally still in it. Now, that one wants to come out. It's about choosing a path. You gotta go left or right. You can stay in the middle of the road. But we'll put that back in, see if it comes back out. For Leo, mid-April. Hmm. You get the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Interesting. You get the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, both in reverse. You know, this is taking the blindfold off. In the upright, you, you trap what these thoughts. You think about them over and over again with no resolution. But this is, you know, Freedom. Now, sometimes this is about, you know, physical incarceration, maybe being sprung. But this is taking the blindfold off and seeing something and not giving it any more energy than it needs. Not trapping yourself and thinking about it over and over again. While staying in some sort of situation, you know. Whoa. <laughs> you get to get a fight on your hands. Five or so, it's all sword energy. But this one is in the upright. The five of swords is about conflict. It could be one-upping somebody, winning at all costs, hitting below the belt. Not because it's true, just because it hurts. Thus, the hollow victory. It's also about drawing a line in the sand that nobody crosses and holding that line. So, Leo, while you're not leaving a situation, you could be seeing something clearly. That you're ready to defend yourself, your position. Now, whether that's the energy coming towards you, the energy you're putting out there, friendship, partnership, love ship, career, family, how it applies. But this is, you know, having the guts and the courage, the oomph, to stand up for yourself or, or hold that line. Hmm. And it's not about getting sentimental about it either. You've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. And that's a messenger of something heartfelt, something sentimental. Could be that apology. Or something that just, you know, comes from the heart. But not today. Leo, not when you're holding the line. 
I feel like, you know, the emotions need to stay out of this. Hmm. Interesting. Because you have the Nine of Cups right after that. That's a wish being granted. That's emotional fulfillment. I'll take a nine any day, close to a ten. Bottom of the deck. Wow. The Eight of Cups. So you have two eights here, Leo. The Eight of Cups is about emotionally checking out of a situation. And just like I said, you know, this is not about the, the feels. You know, this could be about the facts, the figures, the numbers. And communicating that clearly. Because you're not running from this one. Leo, you're sticking in it. Because your eyes are wide open now. Blindfolds off. And this very well could be about standing up for yourself, holding that line, drawing a line in the sand, standing your ground, and not apologizing for it. And I kind of feel like there's no reason for you to apologize. And that could bring a wish coming your way. A wish granted. Because you did stand up for yourself. You did hold that line. You didn't back down. And I'm kind of seeing this scenario of, you know, you ain't going in as no kitty cat. <laughs> You're coming in as ferocious. And this is the way respect is earned and given. Hold that line, Leo. Wow. Go, oh, Leo. Long live the lion, I always say. Okay. So we got Sarge done. We have Leo done. Now it's Aries. Let's see what's going on. With my rams. Okay. We're still in Aries season, so happy birthday to all the Aries out there. In April, mid April. What's going on for Aries? Ooh, we got the fool. The fool's about taking a leap of faith, taking a chance, taking a risk. And enjoying the adventure. This could be about embarking on something brand new. Whether it's in friendships, partnerships, career, family. You know, it's it's like being a dentist and all of a sudden you turn into a zookeeper. <laughs> you know, going in an opposite direction. But being enthusiastic. Hmm. And happy to go. Aries, you could be embarking on something brand new. Oops. Ooh, because the wheel of fortune's turning. In your favor, Aries. That's two major account in a row. I couldn't help but notice. You go from zero to ten in 2.2. .2. But the wheel, when you're on the bottom of it, Aries, and the wheel's always turning, things are starting to fall into place for you. Things are starting to work with you instead of against you. It's good karma. And maybe, you know, fates have changed, or your direction has changed, because you're optimistic about where you're going, or where you're heading. And thus, the wheel turns in your favor. Could be bringing you opportunities that maybe you never had before. Because you're taking a leap of faith. Wow. Another major arcana. You get the Emperor in reverse. Now, the Emperor is usually depicted as Aries Taurus energy. But the Emperor is the king of all kings. He doesn't run a kingdom, he runs an empire. And this is the big kahuna. The one that's in charge. This could be very um, authoritative-like, boss-like, father-like. You know, and he leads by example. So that way he makes the rules, he follows his own rules. Thus being a good leader. But it came in reverse, Aries. 
So this could be a misuse of authority. This could be somebody overstepping their boundary lines. This is somebody who demands respect, but can't give it. Hmm. Definitely, this could be the overbearing boss that you're getting away from for some. I don't think it's your energy, Aries, because you got the nine of cups. It's like uh, the last reading, Leo. Now, this is a wish being granted. Nines being close to a 10. It's emotional fulfillment at its finest. Or almost. It's not like riding unicorns, but pretty close. By taking a leap of faith and taking a chance on something here, Aries, things turn around. And if this is somebody who's overbearing, you know, tries to get into bubble space, you know, oversteps their boundaries, Whatever you've been wishing for, for this particular person, could be coming to fruition. Or it could be with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. I just heard stepping on some toes. Now she's practical and methodical. You know, she's a realist. You know, she keeps it real and grounded. She's patient. Bottom of the deck. Ooh. Aries. You get the tower. Another major arcana. <laughs> wow. So, uh, six cards. Four of them are majors. Hmm. Something's getting lit. The tower comes out of nowhere. Don't ever think that you know what direction the tower's going to hit you in. Because it will come in the exact opposite. You know, the whole thing about the tower is that they say it's built on faulty foundation. Lies. Imagery. You know what I mean? Um, and it only goes so far till the universe comes in and breaks it right down so something better can be built upon it. Something that's more truthful. More real. People live in glass houses. So I'm kind of thinking, Aries, that you're taking a leap of faith and taking a chance on something. And something is going to turn around for you. In your favor. And if that's your affirmations that you're putting out there, if it is about, you know, somebody getting their just desserts, because somebody is misusing authority, I almost want to say misrepresenting themselves. Thinking that they're all that in a bag of chips. If you've been wishing for this person to get their, you know, their dues, I think that this person will. Because that only goes so far and so long and only so many people will put up with this. Whether this is an overbearing family member father like even grandfather somebody who pushes the buttons but then with the queen here this could be even you Aries maybe you're on the Aries Taurus cusp of keeping something real and practical and methodical or it could be and maybe both of you are going to see somebody get their just desserts. Because that kind of type of energy only goes so far and so long. And it might be happening a lot quicker than you think. If this is about a job, you know, all of a sudden, out of the blue, they're gone. You know, if this is about a, a friendship or a partnership... You know, even a family member that 
seems to think that they're all that. You wait. Because Aries, it only goes so far and so long. You know, and it's almost like they're sinking their own boat, I feel. Yeah, because, you know, however they misuse their authority, I feel like it's, you know, bad character. But only so many people are going to take, you know, for so long. And as the wheel will have it, and a little bit of optimism, Aries, I don't think you'll be waiting too long. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.